I've got mail, and if this is what I think it is, it's pretty cool. Hey, Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and get the notifications. That way you won't miss a video. Smash that like button as well, because that helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. But Yorkie and I have got some mail, and I'm going to try and open it up here with my trusty little Swiss Army knife, if I can find the blade. Screwdriver, no, getting somewhere. And now I have a little cardboard box. It's pretty well constructed, but it is just a cardboard box. If I can get it open. You love cardboard boxes, don't you? But you're not having this one. So what have I got? Little additional cardboard box on top something inside it and yes this is what I was hoping it was it's the Orcam Reed that's pretty well presented in this box underneath there are charging cables little headphones all that stuff usual gear nothing too exciting but the Orcam Reed is the exciting part. The new Orcam Read with Smart Read. It's pretty revolutionary. Orcam Read version 9 is ready. Battery is 94% charged. It's a little handheld device with a smart camera on the front that will help anybody like me who's blind or vision impaired to read printed material. Servings per package, 3 comma 4. Anything from bottles to newspapers, magazines, books, even a computer screen and it's interactive as well i am listening it won't just read the item to you you can get it to scan the item and just give you the information that you want it's pretty amazing found two dates for those that can't see it's about four inches long by maybe an inch across the size of a big fat pen and there are just four buttons on top that's it it's really easy to use Let's take this baby and see what it'll do. Okay, I've got the OrCam. I've got it set on the laser pointer. Not that I can really see the laser pointer, but that's good for small, short text. Okay, let's have a dig around in the pantry and have a look and see what we can identify. Master food tomato sauce. Pretty close, master food tomato sauce. Let me have a look at this one. It's a bag, plastic bag. Australis, product of Australia. What sort of product though? Coles Australian, raw sugar, product of Australia. Bingo, we got it. Okay, so there's the sugar. Now, what else have we got here? Here's a box of something. to grow all of our corn in our soups sustainably growing crops in a way which minimizes oh, it said continental soup so that's not bad let's try the other side continental our kick flavors creamy chicken and corn with croutons 690 creamy chicken and corn soup get the message I've got a can here. Let's have a look at that one. Beans. Beans. What sort of beans? Mexican style chili beans. So before, I could never really tell what anything was in the pantry, unless I knew the packet really well. And let me have a look in here. I actually have a rubber band around the barbecue sauce here. So I know what the barbecue sauce is. I'll just double check that. Master Foods Barbecue. But now I don't have to totally rely on rubber bands and pieces of tape to identify everything in the cupboard. I can have a look around. I can see what things are. I can read the contents. I can read the directions all with the OrCam, which is pretty amazing. Okay, I'm just going to run the OrCam through its paces here with the Village Whispers, just a little local magazine that comes out once a month. And I'll take a 
a photo of the front cover. November 2020 Village Jering Ongaro features Women's Health Remembrance Day 2020 Jering Ong's Wave of Relief 9 Inside every issue, Bird of the Month 8 Cafe and Restaurant Guy Dai What's On and Local Property News Trade and Service Directory I History South Precinct Report Some blocks of text are unreadable So I didn't get everything but I got most of what was on the front cover Let's just go inside and I know that on the left hand side is the contact information. So let's just see what it picks up here. Village Lopio Box 452 Jerry Long NSW 2534 phone 0491. Which is pretty good. Now I'm going to try to turn on Smart Read. So to do that, I double click the front button. Smart Read. Read dates. Found two dates. First result, and no doubt we will see out 2020 with little change. Second result, but are full of hope for 2021. Okay, so I found a couple of dates. How about read phone numbers? I am listening. Read phone numbers. That's pretty handy if I want to contact somebody. So, I am listening. Exit Smart Read. Exiting. Okay, let's just try to read the article here. Trade and Service Directory Accountant. Design Tips. All right, I'm going to try and read the Historical Society article. So let's see how we go. History. Early cricket. Team cricket began in Jeringong in the 1860s. At the start of the decade, the rules of the game were not yet fixed, a fact that was remedied before its end. It was a period of financial hardship in the Illawarra when cricket provided... So you get the idea. It's pretty easy to use. Suspending. Press again to shut down. Shutting down. Please wait. So there's simply my first impressions of the Orcam Read with Smart Read. And basically, I really like it. It's, it's easy to use, it's accurate, it's fast, and portable. You know, I can take it with me, I can take it shopping. So I haven't had any practice with it before making this video. I was experimenting as I went and I got better as time went on at lining it up. Uh, I can't see the little dot that it puts on a page or the, the square that it will make so you can put your document in there so that you know you get all the text, but I could still do it. I could still line it up and it was still really easy to use. It's not perfect though. It's probably the best OCR that I've used. I've used a few of the apps and other things but the thing that I really like is the ability to scan a document and then ask it just for certain information like phone numbers or dates. You can jump through different paragraphs, just read the headlines. It was just user friendly. It's, it's more like you would read a document if you weren't using an OCR. You can scan through things and just pick out the information that you want. It is expensive though. It's I'm not going to say exactly how much it is because it varies depending on where you are around the world, but it's not cheap. And sadly for a lot of people, if you don't have some sort of funding from an employer or government funding, it's going to be out of reach, out of reach for a lot of people that are blind and vision impaired. And that's, that's sad. The other thing, for the amount that you pay, I thought it would have come with a, a carry case. I wouldn't feel comfortable just throwing it in the bottom of a bag if I'm going shopping. So I'll have to find some sort of hard case to use that I can 
feel confident if I'm just throwing it a bag and heading off somewhere. That was just a demo. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get one, but it's not a purchase that you would take lightly. It's a big investment, so I would recommend that anybody that's thinking of buying one, get your hands on it, have a play with it, see if it's gonna work for you. But the Orcam Read with Smart Read, it's a tick from me. And York. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. Get the notifications so you don't miss a video and smash that like button because the YouTube algorithm, it helps us out and it helps us to share some of this information and get it out there for people that are blind and vision impaired. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll be seeing you in our next video.